Hello. Welcome back to Rise to the Summit Catholic TV show from Denver, Colorado. I'm your host, Ida Figueroa, and I have a very special guest today, Father Joseph Sam Samankala. Yes, yeah, so um, I come from Uganda, and um, I've been a priest since 93, so next year will be, no, sorry, this year will be 20 years. 20 years. 20 years in priest, yeah. And uh, I worked for um, most of my, the most continuous time I was in priest ministry in one place was in uh, Sudan. In Sudan? Yeah, in wow. Darfur, yeah. Wow. Uh, I had a very, very exciting activity over the adventure because um, we were primarily doing um, uh, uh, first evangelization. So people who had never heard, you know, mm -hmm. of being Christian the word before, of God. the word of God. And so the South of Sudan were actually in the north of Sudan at that time. And so it was a really, really wonderful um, energetic activity. And then I came, uh, I came to the U.S. for about seven years ago. Seven years ago you came? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The interesting thing is that um, um, when I came to the U.S., I was not doing this. I and began I, doing this in the U.S. In the U.S.? The no, US. You didn't do it in Uganda no, or no, in no. Sudan? No, no, no. Yeah, just Actually, what's happening currently is that I've got to go back to Africa to do this there. Wonderful. And people tell me, where do you get this stuff? The Americans gave you this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> And I say yes and no. Yeah, well, <laughs> yes, in the sense that it grew up in America, mm -hmm. uh, but not in the sense that um, what happened when I came to America seven years ago was I, I, I had the time to really work on this question that I've been asking myself for a long thing. time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, with the intensity and the activity I had in uh, in, in, in Africa, you I weren't could able not, to follow I could not up. get into that. that yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I came to America, it was interesting because I had time. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a very, very, um, I mean, I had a, an interesting not ministry, hectic, but not yeah. as hectic as it was <laughs> there, you know. So I, it had, I had time to, um, to really, like, somehow, like, do it with my own personal formation. Mm -hmm. And that's how uh, this ministry got uh, put together. Um, and then as people, of course, read from my book, uh, uh, chapter three is really the, the story for that. Um, I got some kind of crisis of faith. I, I couldn't understand why why God seemed to be so weak, you know, people pray to him, they love him, they serve him, and at the same time they have all these many problems. Problems, yeah, family problems. Family yeah. problems, Personal and problems. good people, yeah. you know, and terrible things happen to them, and I said, God, but where are Hi. you? Where are I'm supposed to be speaking for you, but I don't think I'll do this very long. <laughs> <laughs> You're not responding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, where are you? I have, I have to be your salesperson, you see, you know, but I can, how, can, how can I sell this, you see? Mm -hmm. So these are questions I had, uh, really a long time. You remember as a, even as a teenager before the seminary. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So really coming to America was a opportunity for me to develop this and to think God, about the Holy Spirit. Exactly. And Holy Spirit. You here. Pray about God's it. God's providence. So, yeah. So that's how basically the music came together. And to this, um, maybe I've been, um, because I didn't do that immediately when I came here. So maybe it took me about two years or somehow, somehow two years. And so I've, been being, I've been doing this about five years now. Five years, yeah, you've yeah. been doing this ministry. Yeah, yeah. The first two years was learning it, putting it together, exactly, putting it together getting yeah. all the information. That's right, yeah. How long, yeah. when did you write this book? How many years ago? Oh, this book came out only two years ago. Two years ago only? But it only took me one month to write it. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> yeah. So you had all the material when exactly. you did the conferences, exactly. the seminars yeah. that you did? I'd been already, um, I'd been already doing a conference, seminars, healing, family, healing of family seminars for a while. For, for a while, years, before right? the book came yeah, about. Yeah, maybe three years or something, three years about. Three years. Um, and the funny thing was that, um, well, maybe not at the very beginning, but somewhere in the middle of the first three years, uh, people began, ask, began asking me, but Father, where, where, is, where is the book? The information. Where's the book? Oh, where's the book? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say, well, the book is in my head. <laughs> <laughs> in your head, in your heart. It was, yeah. like, it was just like the kind of book, running joke, you know. And I got asked that more and more often, almost at every seminar. And then at some point I said, wait a minute, this is not a joke. Because really, the Holy Spirit I mean, how much, uh, how many people can I reach, really? Yes. Am, am I infinite? At some time I will die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? right. What has got seven billion people, you know? Mm -hmm. There's no way I could get, I get to all of them. Right. So I said, oh, really sitting down and writing that book would be an act of charity. Yes. Because a How lot wonderful. of people will get to know this this information without having to travel, without get, getting to me, or without me getting to them either. Right. So right. I sat down in one month. Wow, how wonderful. <laughs> that had to be the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. In one yeah. month, it people take yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, currently in, uh, in the U.S., um, there are about 
uh, 20, they have exact 19 groups that I know of mm -hmm. that are going and doing book study, books mm -hmm. to take the book to study right. and work together. And then they're beginning to put together some kind of uh, ministry where they can give to miss, miss it to other people. Right. And it's working very, very well. Good. So simply. Mm -hmm. So simply, yeah. Excellent. So I know it's a good number of priests that are using this in their own ministry. Um, could be uh, maybe another 20, 25 priests in the US and out of the US, but mostly in the US, because that's where mm -hmm. I am, yeah. So um, uh, it's very, very interesting. I also have begun to have seminars for priests only, for clergy only. I think that's so necessary. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's so important. So we yes. had the first one in the, here in the U.S. in Missouri uh, uh, after, right after Easter this, this mm -hmm. year. Uh, most, most probably going to have another one at around the same time, so the, the week after, immediately after Easter next, uh, Easter next year. Cool. So that's when normally, of course, the clergy have had a lot of activity in the right. Holy Week and so on. So normally after um, Easter they take some time off. Well I propose to them take time off, some time off with this where they enjoy it's, and learn and you know. The good thing about the healing of family mysteries is um, it gets to the root. Exactly. Further back. Yes. yes. And not only it's not just family tree. Um, that's why I actually my book Yeah I notice it wasn't generational healing. No, 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 it's so family much. because it's family, it's family, family, right family, now the family. personal exactly. the family and then yeah. it goes into the generation. I noticed that. Exactly. That's exactly. excellent. Yeah. 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 Now, you notice that because you have experience. Experience in this, yeah, yeah. yes. That's what I also say, yeah. But the no, thing is that I notice, yeah. a lot of ministries do wonderful work, but they tend to do one thing. Limited, right. Yeah. And then right. they do but they do it very well, but they do one thing. And then the others do the other. One thing they do very well. Mm -hmm. One thing they do, they do very well. You need to um, yeah. But here, um, somehow, I've identified what I call the four access points. So mm -hmm. those areas that Satan actually gets into our lives. And, and, and people get, get shocked. So what? Just four? So yeah. Because yeah. Satan yeah. is a creature. He's yeah. limited. He's, yeah. he's not God. Limited, yeah. yeah he's not God. Mm -hmm. So he can only do this and that and that and that. Would you explain it to the audience? Exactly. And ex uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you would say he's, he comes to destroy. Yeah. To um, kill. Yeah. He comes to destroy, like yeah. you know, John ten ten, to steal, kill, and destroy. But he comes to do that, and the way he does that, he does that through just four ways. Four because ways. he has got. He can do it out there. If, if, it, if it, does, it does out there, doesn't doesn't affect anybody. He try, has to try to get into your life into first. Into your life. And then that open do it in door. There. Exactly. Yeah. Then do it in there. Do it in there. Of course, there. he gets it. Uh, I tell people to learn to sp uh, think about Satan as one who thrives out of your pain. Right. I mean, he lives off your pain. So the more You're pain suffering. he gives you, the, the, the bigger he grows. It's exactly. like fuel on a fire. Yeah, exactly. That's his okay. fuel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's got to plant seeds where he's going to reap pain after that. Mm -hmm. And how he does it, he uses, of course, lies. Like lies. Lord tells us, number one. John 8, John <laughs> 8, 24, yeah. John 8. 844. 44. Yeah. So the mm -hmm. lies, he's the father of lies. The lies are his his instrument that get them get get him in, get him into your life. Into your life. And mm -hmm. once he gets into your life, he does still kill this trouble. So uh, in fifteen or sixteen hours of teaching, I do an hour and a half of prayer only. Only. Mm -hmm. And that's what does it. Mm -hmm. That hour and a half of prayer is what does it. People go home and have got a lot of good results in their family. And life Because now they changed. have the knowledge. Exactly. And now they've opened up to, to following those that knowledge exactly. as steps to, to the Lord. Exactly. And so they open themselves so that the yeah. healing takes place really quick. Very, very, very quickly. Very and quick. not only that, because now what has happened, because they've been taught and they've been trained, they own the tools. That's right. They don't need to look for me anymore. They have the tools. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They know what's happening. They know they, they, they can explain things to themselves. All those questions they had in the past, now they can answer, answer them to themselves. And, now and it's very it's simple. Very, very simple. simple. It is very, very, very simple. I, I very love simple. it the way you put it together. Yeah, it's very, yeah, very it's simple. It's, very simple. Very it's very completely simple. accessible to anybody. Accessible, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing difficult, yeah. nothing you can't do yeah. or carry yeah. out. So it's an incredible tool of um, really empowering people. Mm -hmm. People get empowered. So where do you travel, Father? Uh -huh. um, well, um, I do travel quite a bit, I would say. Um, a lot in the US. Um, I think by the end of this year, probably I would have covered um, more than half of the states of the U.S. Of the states of the U.S. Sure, yeah, yeah. Different cities. And you say you yeah. don't go to the same city twice. I don't go to the same city twice, no. That's where you can cover more area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would so much wish to do that, but really I cannot because um, yeah, I've got a lot of invitations. I've got invitations covered all through this year until middle of next year, mm -hmm. even beyond middle of next year. So um, um, I really come once. I got the one shot, you know, one shot. But the thing, the other thing that's, that's good about this is that I tell people, look, the very first thing I tell people when I come to a seminar, tell them, look, you've come as uh, consumers, mm -hmm. but you're going to live as agents. <laughs> but 
you'll be able to do exactly all I do. All I do, promote and it and promote help it. others. Yes. Not only promote it, but you, you can also be able to, to pray for other people. So teach them like I'm teaching you, make them understand like I'm making you understand, and then help them prepare their own prayer, which, which I call the four, famous four sheets, they've got to pray about yes. the four access points, and then uh, after that, lead them to the prayers, which are right in the book, same book. Mm -hmm. So they get their book, you get your book, and uh, you, they do your, their part, you do your, your part, and let them go. And good things begin to happen after that. So even if I do one shot in any city, uh, I don't have any problems of conscience or no people, but want to explain more now, because I know every, every, all the information they need is in the book, and I've gotten some kind of relationship with them, we've seen, they've seen me, I've seen them, they've asked their questions mm -hmm. and so on, they answered them. And then just go and walk on it. Wow! Yeah, yeah. wonderful. And um, in many places I've already been, uh, not very many, but a good number of places, uh, the ministry has just taken up. Taken up. Parishes, yeah. People that, that before went there had nothing to do with healing ministry, nothing familiar, with, no no familiarity with it at all, are able to do it now. Yes. So simple. Yes. There's no mystery. No mystery. Yes. Because it's God actually who does the healing. So I do that. I do that. I did. I do this in the U.S. I do also out of the U.S. Out of the U.S. What other countries? And, uh, I've been to Europe. I've been to. Um, I've been to England uh, once. Uh, I'll be going to Italy and France uh, next month. Wow. I've got. I've been to. Um, um, Medjugorje. I went there because of this too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for a big group of people. I mean, Medjugorje is the world confession at this point. Wow, I heard. I heard the, this the, many. Lines and lines of people. So I think now currently they have maybe at least 50 confessions. 50 wow, confessions, I think. How yeah. awesome. Because awesome. when I was there, they were just like finishing off a whole world, new wing. Of I know the one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I was, I was, I was to confessions in the evening from like around 6 to 9. Mm -hmm. But um, so when I went, the first night um, uh, I stayed in there up to around um, like maybe 11, 11, like around, around midnight. Wow. But I didn't really notice. I mean, didn't, didn't realize. So after midnight, I went out. And then the following night, so midnight, half past midnight, um, the third night, it occurred to me, wait a minute, when I leave, I'm the last one that leaves this place. All the other confessions are closed. Are closed? You were the only like, one? Oh, wait a minute, what, 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 what's going on here? So the third night, um, in the confessional around uh, half past mid midnight, mm -hmm. and then this gentleman comes and asks him, just for curiosity's sake, before we do the confession, you know, um, how long have you been up there? And he says, five hours. I and they're, say, they're waiting for you. <laughs> uh, can I ask you one more question? Say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've been there five hours. Five hours. Why? What has been confession? happening to the other confessionals? Uh, well, they've been there. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but I mean, you you saw them like moving out and lines were like phasing out and 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 he was saying yeah. And then you in this other long long line and. You didn't go to the other ones? To the other ones, yeah. And he said, uh, no. <laughs> see, Why? <laughs> What's going you, on? Did you actually see the priest, like, stick their, head, their heads out, and there's I mean, nobody there, and they closed, and they walked off, and they saw them go? Uh -huh. Instead of going yeah. <laughs> <See, yeah. laughs> Why? And actually, when you go even in the summer, it's quite chilly in the evening. So it was quite chilly out there. Chilly, cold? Yeah, cold, yeah. <laughs> so he tells me, uh, you know, Father, the people come from this confessional, when they go out there, you know what they tell us? They tell us, it may take you long to go in there, but it's worth the wait. It's worth the wait, wow. I said, wow. wow. So that's what they're telling us, yeah, that's what. Oh, the line's still long, Father. <laughs> and it was like half past midnight. Oh, wow. That night I was there to two in the morning. Wow. Yeah. Wow, what a now, blessing. that happened all the 10 what a days blessing. Wow. I was there. That was the, uh, now, the good, thing about, for yourself, is, huh? the good thing about this is that there's no mystery. What I was doing that confessional is the quick one. The quick one. The quick in it, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the three steps. The cars. So there's the, the, um, the penance to God and the forgiveness. Cancel, no, can, no, uh, so no, actually, the penance to God. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, cancelling agreements with Satan and sending him, sending him out of your life and then calling in the Holy Spirit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So whenever I did that, anybody for any particular situation they talked about, people felt. Something incredible. Lift. Something yeah. lift. And, you know? and, and yeah. light. And that's what they go and tell you on there. You know? That's so what I say. Go to him. I give that line. I give that line. Yeah. So, really, when this is the hands of priests, it's a very, very powerful tool. And it's so simple. Mm -hmm. It's also mm -hmm. simple. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay. What really drives me 
Uh, people ask me, but you talk so long, I don't get tired. Well, what? So yeah, what? so many hours. Where do you get all this energy? I was tired time? yesterday. <laughs> Last time I said, I hope he finishes soon, because I am so wiped out. And he kept going and all the energy. I still do another one. Where are you getting all that energy? Where do you get that energy? <laughs> well, any of the things is this. You, whatever you go. You're happy to do this work. Yeah, not only that. You, 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 get, you, you find yourself in front of this group of people who look like this when they come. That, yeah. But when they leave, Saturday, Friday, Saturday night, Lift they're like this, you know? <laughs> and, and, yes. and you feel something has happened to these people's lives. Not only their own lives, their own entire families. What a that joy. Are not there. What a joy. What a joy. Now, what do you want Excellent. to be doing in life, really? What do you want to be, <laughs> what are we doing that? You see? So you, 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 you keep on talking and talking and talking because you know it's doing something for people out there. Not only that, after this, they will do it to others. So you, I mean, you yes. cannot get tired doing this. You yes. cannot get tired doing this. Yeah, yes. so three or something. Thank you for watching us, yeah. send in your donations, and we hope have Father's information down below. God bless you, and we'll see you next week. Thank you very much. God bless you. <laughs>